Hi Cuddle Readers, here are your book talks for your December titles. The first title we're going to talk about is The Parker Inheritance by Varian Johnson. This is the story of a girl named Candace. She discovers a letter in a book that holds a puzzle. Whoever solves the puzzle will find a fortune. So Candace and her new friend Brandon set out to decipher the clues. Along the way, they learn a lot of things about their town history, many of them not so pleasant. Um, so my overall take on this and my description is it is a fun mystery and it is full of adventure. So Parker Inheritance, if you like mysteries, you'll like this one. The second um, book is Stormy Seas, Stories of Young Boat Refugees. Uh, this is a nonfiction book and it is full of real life kid refugee stories. Um, the illustrations and the brief descriptions of each person's situations really effectively get the point across of each of their journeys. Uh, there's a picture of each person, like 1939, Ruth, there she is, real girl right there. Um, it goes, this book covers from 1939, World War II, up to... Mohammed in 2006, who escapes from the Ivory Coast. Um, like I said, it has a picture of each one. It has a direct quote from each person. And it also has a section um, in at the end of each one of what happened to that individual person. This is a great title. Um, it gives the refugee crisis a face, which makes it more powerful than just people quoting statistics at you. Um, Stormy Seas, stories of young boat refugees really, really, really changed my whole perception of the whole boat refugee crisis. So nonfiction, but thin, easy to read book. A lot of information packed into a very small space. Very good illustrations. I think you'd really, really enjoy this one. The next one is called Nowhere Boy uh, by Catherine Marsh. This one is another refugee story, but it is fiction. And it is a story about Ahmed, and he is stranded in Brussels, Belgium, after fleeing from Syria. And along the way, he loses his father. So he finds shelter in the basement of an American family that is temporarily living in Belgium. Uh, the 13-year-old boy in the family, Max, finds Ahmed, and the two work together to keep Ahmed hidden from authorities. This was a great book. A lot of suspense, a lot of action. Um, really, really good book. I really enjoyed that. You're going to hear me say this about every book this month because, honestly, this, this month hit the jackpot with really good books. The last one is The Miscalculations of Lightning Girl by Stacey McAnulty. Uh, in this story, Lucy gets struck by lightning, and after that, she becomes a math genius. So um, after she's struck by lightning, she, she gets homeschooled. Well, by the age of 12, she is academically ready to go to college, but her grandma says, mm, before you gotta go to college, you have to do the following things. You have to spend a year in middle school. You have to make one friend. You have to read a book that is not math related and you have to join one activity. So this is a story of how Lucy, um, the genius, goes to middle school and how she survives it. This actually is a hilarious book. I absolutely really love this one. But like I said, all four of these books this month, top notch. Loved them all. So um, anyway... That's just your real brief book talks for December. Don't forget that if you read three of the titles, by the end of February, you will be able to vote for the statewide uh, winner of the Rebecca Cottle National Young Readers Book Award. So get to reading. Also, if you don't have a physical copy of the book, that's no problem. With your library card, you can um, check out um, online um, an online version. So every one of the titles, every one of the 20 titles of the Rebecca Cottle Award this year are available in electronic form. 
So if you don't have a physical copy, you can just download it on your device and read away. So anyway, I'll see you in January. I hope you have a good break. I think you all need it, including and especially probably the teachers. So I will see you back in January. Have a great rest of December. Bye.